I'm a paleoanthropologist and geoarchaeologist, um, which basically means I study ancient um, human species. So uh, I spend a lot of my time wandering around um, Africa, digging holes in caves, and trying to understand um, about the diversity of past human species. Today there's only one of us, but in the past there was multiple species. And trying to understand a little bit about um, how those species reacted to changes in climate and how they made stone tools to adapt to those changes through time. Well, the most difficult thing for us is really getting high resolution sequences. So um, where we can actually directly correlate archaeology with changes in climate, um, as well as other processes, um, such as my particular interest is changes in the Earth's magnetic field. Um, every now and then it reverses by 180 degrees. Um, and we don't really know what happens during these reversals. Um, but we can use them, because um, we know when a lot of them are, to actually date archaeological deposits and fossils. Well, it's, um, we're actually, a lot of the data suggests that there will be another geomagnetic field reversal um, within the next sort of 2,000 years. So it's not going to impact us imminently, but it'd be really good to know exactly what happens during these things. Um, how does climate change? How does vegetation change? Do we see discrete links to speciation? So the creation of species or the extinction of species during these events, should we be worried about it? Um, they don't happen instantaneously, they take thousands of years but they're still likely to have major impact on climate, animals and us.